the quality of ingredients that you use to bake cookies really matter when it comes to the final taste? We're about to find out with a taste test. I'm going to make two batches of the same chocolate chip cookie recipe, but I'm going to use ingredients with wildly different price points for each batch. Then I'll give them a taste and give you my honest opinion. Okay, for the cheap version, we'll be using store brand flour, sugar, butter, eggs, etc. I bought the cheapest ethical vanilla and chocolate I could find, which was Thrive Market Vanilla, and these chocolate chips that I found on Vitacost. For the expensive version, things look a little different. For the flour, I sourced this Hayden Mills all-purpose flour. Apparently this has a cult following, so I'm really interested to test it out. For the salt, I went for this Celtic sea salt. Their light gray Celtic sea salt is hand harvested using a method invented by the Celts who settled in the region of France where it comes from. For the butter, I'll be using this beautiful Sierra Nevada Cheese Company European style butter. Apparently European butter has a higher butter fat content, which makes for amazing baked goods, and we'll see. For both the sugars, brown and white, I'll be using these fair trade sugars from the brand Wholesome. Only the best eggs will do in this instance, so I purchased these organic pasture-raised eggs from a local health food store. They came in at almost $8 a dozen, which actually isn't insane considering the price of eggs these days. I figured that the baking powder and the baking soda don't matter all that much, but I used store brand for the cheap version and I'll be using the Thrive Market baking soda for the expensive version and this Field Day baking powder. And for the vanilla extract for the expensive version, I found this Hai Lala Vanilla. According to the website, Hai Lala Vanilla pure vanilla extract comes from the source undergoing a highly scientific yet natural process. This superior process draws out and maintains the most delicate of aromatics, giving you that sweet, creamy Madagascar bourbon vanilla vanilla flavor that Hailala Vanilla Pure Vanilla Extract is world renowned for. And it costs $12.79 for this 1.69 fluid ounce bottle. And finally, the piece de resistance, the chocolate. For the expensive chocolate, I settled on this one from the brand Askinosi. Each three ounce bar comes in at $14. So for all three bars, it was $42 plus $11.89 for shipping. Askinosi is a small batch bean to bar company that's direct trade and 100% traceable. This basically means that they go above and beyond fair trade practices. This specific chocolate that I got was their 70% barrel aged dark chocolate. And I don't think that this is available on their website anymore, sadly. So this was a limited edition and it's micro batch. It says we've crafted this mild yet complex 70% dark chocolate bar with single origin Tanzania cocoa nibs aged in whiskey barrels for five years. This process mellows these robust Trinitario cocoa beans and imparts subtle notes of charred oak and malty smoke with underlying tones of whiskey vanilla sweetness. So I'm very curious to try this out. Okay, for the recipe, I chose one from the blog Joy Food Sunshine. Their best chocolate chip cookie recipe ever has over 6,000 reviews and 4.99 stars. So I'm gonna mix up both cookie doughs and then let them rest for 30 minutes before baking. Okay, so right away I'm noticing a difference in color. This is the expensive dough, this is the cheap dough. The expensive dough is definitely darker in color, which could come down to the sugars and the egg yolks. Also, I would say that the dough is smoother on the cheap side. They are similar, but I do think that the expensive dough is maybe a little more rustic, shall we say? I decided to be extra and weigh the dough to make sure the cookies baked evenly. So I did 35 grams per cookie or about two tablespoons of dough. I baked both doughs on the same pan to eliminate that variable. And here are the baked cookies. The expensive version is on the left and the cheap version is on the right, duh. Now for what we've all been waiting for, the taste test. I'm going to have a glass of milk handy because you can't have chocolate chips without a glass of milk in my opinion. So what I'm noticing about the appearance of the different cookies, this is the expensive version and this is the cheap version. I would just say that overall, the cheap version looks a little bit brighter if that makes sense which would make sense because it's made with white sugar, whereas the expensive version, the sugar isn't pure white in color, so it probably would dull the color a bit. I would say that the expensive version is a little bit flatter. There's just like a few more uh, humps in the cheap version, which that could just be from the size of the chocolate chips. I would say that the cracking is a little bit different. I think the cracking is a little bit more even on the expensive version. Right away, the smell is definitely different. 
I think I'm getting more of an intense vanilla smell from the cheap version. In any case, there's only one way to find out and that is with the taste. I'll start with the cheap version. Mmm. The edges are very crispy. Chocolate is nice and melty. It's not my absolute favorite flavor of chocolate, but it's decent. Very crispy around the edges, but soft in the middle. I'd say there's not a ton of subtlety of flavor. Mmm, that's a dang good cookie. I'll cleanse my palate with the milk. Mm. So far, off to a good start. Now for the expensive version. Yeah, I'm just noticing that the color is just a little more dull, but again, it's the taste that matters. Mmm. Mmm. Again, the edges are nice and crispy. Mmm. Whoa, the center is nice and soft. Mmm. I think I'm definitely getting more depth of flavor, which would just make sense in the expensive version. Mmm. The chocolate is nice and melty. That is a delicious cookie. Right away, I am preferring the expensive version. Wow. The texture is amazing. Mmm. But I'm just gonna go back and forth between these now. Mmm. It's a good cookie. Mmm. Texture is really good. I would just say, I'm getting more just the flavor is sweet. Not a ton of subtleties there. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you just get a lot more depth of flavor with the expensive one. Mm. That is a good cookie. Mm. Delicious. That semi-sweet chocolate from Vitacost is really not bad. But it does lack in some subtlety of flavor, unlike the Askinosi chocolate. Mmm, wow. Mm. There's almost like more of a caramely flavor, I would say, with the expensive version. I use the same amount of sugar, but it's not tasting just like overwhelmingly sweet, like the cheap version. That could be because I use darker chocolate, but it's not significantly darker. Mm. I would say, mm. they're both a similar amount of crispy. Pretty similar in texture, I'd say. Perhaps the cheap version is a little bit crispier. Hmm, very good. So in conclusion, I would say that ingredients definitely do matter. The cheap cookie was not a bad cookie. It had a good texture. The flavor wasn't bad, but it just was kind of a little more one note. Even though I used the same amount of sugar for each cookie, the cheap version just tasted more like overwhelmingly sweet for me. I did use semi-sweet chocolate in the cheap version versus dark chocolate in the expensive version, but the cookie itself tasted sweeter to me. It just lacked that depth of flavor. Whereas in the expensive version, it had a little more of like a caramely flavor. I felt like the butter lended it a really great flavor. Just hands down, I prefer this cookie. Definitely you can't go wrong with this, but I'm just gonna say it, it's a little boring. If I want to craft a really delicious cookie, I think that opting for amazing ingredients really helps. Do I think you have to buy $14 bar of chocolate to accomplish this? No. I'll have some alternative chocolates that I really like that are more affordable but still lend that amazing depth of flavor. Texture-wise, they're pretty similar. Both are nice and crispy on the edge and soft in the middle. However, when it comes to flavor, there is just no denying <laughs> that the expensive version is the clear winner. So if you want to taste some truly amazing chocolate chip cookies, I highly recommend going for the best quality ingredients that you can find. Personally, I think that the heavy hitters here would be the butter, sugar, and chocolate. I think those are gonna make the biggest impact on the final flavor. All right, if you'd like me to make more expensive versus cheap videos, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up and check out this playlist next for more of my taste test videos. Mm, that is a good cookie. It's not a bad cookie, it's just kind of meh. Askinosi is a small batch bean to car... 